project had been planned for many years, I think over a decade. Uh, but really, it wasn't until a couple of years ago when the General Assembly uh, allocated $97 million to Northern Kentucky University to actually create the Health Innovation Center and uh, bring this new facility to campus. And St. Uh, Elizabeth's Healthcare uh, partnered with us and donated another eight million dollars and it's those funds that hundred and five million dollars that is building is actually building this facility and then it's up to us to you know add the resources we need to expand these programs and create new ones we're right on time we're right on budget um, so you can see on campus where the ground has broken more than that. I mean, they are actively put it, laying foundation. They've done site work. They've done a lot of the utility work. And uh, we're going to see in the next few months that building begin to rise up out of the ground. One of the things that will be very unique about it is that we'll have a state-of-the-art simulation center. Uh, simulation centers are very important because they actually provide the clinical nursing and other types of clinical students to work on a high-tech, high-def mannequin that breathes, it has fluids, it uh, can exhibit symptoms. Um, a student might be treating that mannequin, that patient, and suddenly the mannequin goes into cardiac arrest or something like that. And so it provides our students with real life um, simulated experiences. So in the old days, we might have students listening to lectures, taking notes, doing tests, things like that. I think we all understand that human beings learn best when we're actually doing things, right? So it's one thing to give me the information, it's another thing to let me apply that information in a real life setting, uh, as close to what I'm going to actually encounter when I'm in that hospital or when I'm in that clinic, uh, the emergencies that might come up, and whether I'm treating children or adults, newborn infants or you know older adults, that full range of the life cycle um, our students will be able to have hands-on adaptive learning techniques that will change in the moment when something happens unexpected. And that's what we need our healthcare providers to be able to do, is to adjust to the unexpected. You know, not every university could pull off what we're doing here. And I speak from experience. Um, some universities are just too stuck in the mud, frankly. NKU is a very innovative, uh, young institution, and we have a sort of can-do attitude that if we can imagine it, then we can do it.